Hello and welcome to Build On Ideas in Student. This is Six and Sunny. Uh, in this uh, beginner tutorial, I am going to explain the interface of Blender 2.8 and uh, uh, go in detail into the interface customization. So when you open the Blender uh, interface, you can see that it is it is having a welcome screen in which you have different options out here. And uh, when you click outside, this is the viewport. When you start Blender, this is the uh, starting of Blender 2.8. So in my previous video, I've shown you how to download and install Blender 2.8. Now we have opened the Blender 2.8 and we are going deep into the next video. So when you come to the interface, you have a single viewport here. You can uh, zoom into uh, the viewport by uh, clicking on the center mouse button and scrolling it. And then if you want to rotate this viewport, you just click on the center mouse button and start moving the mouse. You can see that it is getting rotated. If you want to pan, you just click on the shift button and then start moving the mouse. You can see that it is getting panned. So this is basically the uh, navigation tools which you have in uh, Blender 2.8. Scrolling, just center mouse button and scroll. Uh, to rotate, click on the center mouse button and rotate. And then if you want to uh, pan, just click on the shift button and then click on the center mouse button and move it. So this is basically the navigation part. If you want to move, rotate and scale the objects inside the viewport, you just go into this move tool and then click on this tool and then this object and then just start moving in Y direction, Z direction and X direction. This is basically the move and then if you want uh, to rotate it, just go into this tool and then start rotating in X, Y, Z directions. If you want to go into the scale and then if you want to do the scale, then just uh, just go into C direction, Y direction, X direction and then proportion scaling on this. If you just click on this round and then do a proportion scaling. So this is basically the tools which are here. You can see a toolbar here. You have a menu bar on top. You have an outline here which is showing the different objects inside the viewport. If you just click on this, this is a camera here. You can see that. If you click on this, this is a cube. This, If you just uh, move here, uh, I'm just scaling it a bit. You can see that there's a light out here. This is the light. So this is basically an outliner which shows you different objects inside the viewport and different properties of that. You have uh, the different properties panel out here which is showing the different properties of different objects as well as the viewport settings inside here. This is basically the object properties and you have the different tabs of the properties on the left of the uh, properties panel. And you have a different layouts on top. You can see the different layouts on top. Uh, this helps us to do the modeling, sculpting, UV editing, texture painting, shading, animation, rendering, and compositing. You can see by clicking on different objects, you can different uh, workspaces, you can see what it is. So this is basically this. And uh, if you go into this plus symbol, you can see additional options like VFX, you have compositing, you have motion tracking, which is very important. Uh, you have uh, additional uh, video editing, you, can, you have a different layout. So these are basically the default layouts which are available in Blender 2.8. Uh, and you have different uh, customization available. Now if you go to the default layout, you can have different uh, customization, uh, different, different customization possible inside this. So if you go to the left or in the corners of uh, this viewport, you can see a plus symbol. Now it's a cursor out here. If you go to the corner, you can see a plus symbol coming here in the corners. If you click here and drag, you can have an additional viewport coming in. If you click here and then drag, you have an additional viewport. If you click here and drag, you have additional viewport. So this is basically a customization available. If you want to revert it back to the normal mode, just click on this plus symbol. And if you're in this viewport, just click here and then drag it outside like this. You have an arrow coming here so this is getting uh, merged into here similarly you do it from here and do it here and then from here you just click and drag you can see that there is an arrow there and then it's coming into the basic layout so this is uh, the customization available in uh, blender uh, 2.8 so you have seen the basic interface of uh, how we can do the customization as well as the default layouts on top and the file uh, the menu bar in which you have the different options to save or uh, do the customization, undo, redo, the different render options, different window options available. You have uh, the different uh, links to the website and uh, different uh, tutorials and other stuffs here in the help menu. So these are basically the things. And then if you have, uh, if you see the left side, you have a menu bar, I mean the tool bar, tool bar on the left. Uh, you can do a lot of uh, customization on the toolbar as, as well. If you click on T, it just gets high hidden. You can see a small arrow here. If you just click and drag, you can see the names of the tool, tools out here. 
and similarly you have a property panel on the right side as well if you click on n you can see a property panel coming up so if you click on n once again it just goes in you have the camera view the zoom rotate and all those stuffs out here you have an outliner out here and if you come here you have a lot of options available so we'll go in detail of this op various options in the coming tutorials so i think uh, you like this tutorial as well if you like this tutorial kindly subscribe the channel and if you have some queries kindly comment below as well as uh, don't forget please don't forget to uh, click on the notification only then you get the different videos which are coming in the pipeline so do subscribe thank you